The Word of God talks about balance of a man. It is for your good and preparation for my, your, and our future. The bottom line is with regards to the interpretation of our suffering today, because you have been faithful, serve God patiently, and continue to obey Him no matter what the Word might bring to us. It might be good or bad, continue to serve God. Follow the walk and model of those who win the race in serving God. The door of opportunity for you to enjoy is in front of you, in front of us. Never make any option of quitting, slowing down, or forgetting the promises of God. Never don't open the door. Now when you live in a constant dread of the hour of trial, you will appreciate this special form of rescue and blessings in which this promise of help is expressed. You will be overwhelmed of the faithfulness of God to His Word, for you will experience the reality of His words giving life today in your daily walk with Him. You will experience that. In concluding, promise of the letter resumes this allusion. He that... Uh, uh, one more. Okay. There we are. Concluding, he that overcomes, I'll make him pillar. Okay, the one who is victorious, I'll make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again, they will leave it. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the New Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from God, and I will also write on them my new name. God will write on you the new name. Whoever has the ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. I'll uh, finish here in a few moments. Listen to this. The pillar is the symbol of stability. You know the pillar that hold the second floor? We have engineer here, and we have carpenter. It's a firm support of which the upper part of the temple or building rests. Now, the victor, the believers, who persevere, unto the end shall not be shaken by a disaster in the great day of trial. The world is being rocked. And I want you to hear, more intense is coming as the days go by. It will be rocked like a boat in the midst of the tempest. So let us persevere. And he shall never again require to go out and take refuge in the open country. Now the city which had suffered so much in so long from any stability was to be rewarded with the divine firmness and steadfastness. Listen to this. That life of security as you become responsible to the door of opportunity is available for you today to enjoy life to the present by the grace of God and to enjoy life to the future as promised by God. Are you serious about God given opportunity to share your changed life through Jesus Christ? Are you serious? Are you mindful of the open door of sharing, of giving your life to win others for Christ seven days a week, 24 7, as the door allows? Are you responding to what God has given to you, the power of prayer that offensively weaken the forces of darkness? Are you ready for the opportunity to see the Lord in His Son return? Church, we must understand opportunity to endure and to stand firm for Christ and His word of life regardless of opposition and the consequence resulted because you are sold out for Christ. If your answer is maybe, not yet, maybe someday, you are in a shaky ground. Repent and come to Him today say, Lord, forgive me. When your answer is yes, Remain faithful to Him, and only He, Jesus Christ, will give you the opportunity to have all this blessing in your life. Number one, you'll become a pillar in the temple. Number two, God will write down His name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. And number three, God will write His name to you. Here is the closing word. Many of you can remember the different persons that donated much for the building of the churches in the Philippines. You know, Methodist or uh, UCCP, some people donated so much for the building of the, the church. 
and your respected towns or places. Maybe you see the benches, you see the wall of the church, beautiful wall or cemented wall or tiles on the floor. Some of this given donation, you can see the written names of all the donors, remember? And even this land was, was donated by a rich family who are dedicated to God. Their names are inscribed there. I want you to know this. This is the closing part of this. You see the donors of the building the house of God. A city often honored a notable person or a notable citizen by erecting a pillar in a temple with his name inscribed on it. This is the way the Lord will honor you, honor us as a church. He's faithful by inscribing on you the name of my God and also the new Jerusalem. This is the most wonderful celebration for all believers who understand now the challenge and the opportunity of being responsible to the door of our church mission, to the door of intimate communion with God and prayer, in the door of our salvation in Christ, showing we ought to live like Him. After salvation, eternal life is given, we find our place to function in the body of believers and use our talents even to reach the unbelievers. Here's the closing word. The great use of earthly life is to spend it for something that outlasts it. The great use of our earthly life is to spend it for something that outlasts it. This is the message we have to adopt today. That our life will be used for something eternal, not for earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you so much for...